Hi everyone, it's Mike Moo here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to whitelist or ensure that you get emails from important people, companies, etc. in your Yahoo inbox. Now, this is the new interface. This is not the classic interface, so I want to point out that it is different. You can switch to the new interface or the old interface by going to settings, wherever you might find it. So for instance, if I want to switch to classic mail, I can go down here to settings and choose click switch to classic mail. But for this video, I'm going to stick to the new interface because it is the future that Yahoo envisions you should be using. All right. So here we have the inbox. Uh, the easiest way to figure out whether or not there's a message that you someone said they sent you, but you didn't get is to check in your spam bin right here on the left hand side there'll be inbox and red star drafts sent archive spam and trash you can also find stuff in trash too so when you want to ensure you get an email from a company so for instance um, Athentech uh, perfectly clear is a company that I use to go ahead and automatically process my images and let's say this was inadvertently marked as spam and I actually really want to get this message in my inbox all I have to do is is check off the message and choose not spam that's it so now in the future when I get a message from Athen Tech perfectly clear it will automatically go into my inbox over here okay so that moves it over to the inbox now what's another way to do this well if you know for sure if someone asks you to whitelist their email or their contacts and make sure you get their email the best way to do that is go to settings if they haven't already sent you an email or if they tell you to whitelist it Go over to settings, uh, choose more settings. So settings down to more settings. Go over to filters. And you see I have any, I have no filters right here. Um, they give you a little bit of help on, on, on the filters over here. What you can do is you can set up a new filter and call it uh, you know, important or you can call it um, emails from Mike. Let's just say you, you are getting emails from Mike because that's important or any other family member any other company just give it any name this is just so that you can identify it and I'm gonna say that the from will contain the following so I'm just gonna go ahead and put down my name here it doesn't have to match case and then any time that I get that I can choose other filters in here to make sure that uh, that it contains information about this but I'm just gonna say that if it comes from me Mike Moo, I'm going to have it moved over to the inbox, right? Or I can have a new folder name where there are important emails that come in. So I'm just going to have it moved over to my inbox. And that's it. So anytime I get emails uh, that contains that it's from Mike Moo in the from section, it will automatically go over to my inbox and thus will always get uh, whitelisted. Now, if you know the specific emails, address that you're going to get them from uh, let's say you got a friend that does not call themselves by their name and they just put some other thing you can ask you add another filter too and you can go ahead and choose um, contains and you can type in their email address so you can actually type in an email address here and anytime you get something uh, from the email just just finish up the entire email address um, it would also get sent over to wherever it is that you decide so so that's that's the that's the two main ways uh, that you can go ahead and whitelist uh, people in here another way which may have been in a classic version is actually add them onto your contacts to add them to your contacts you just basically click on this icon over here it's contacts on the right hand side that will open up your contacts uh, your contact address lists and everything here all you have to do if you don't have them in your contacts obviously and you need to add them just put click in new contact type in all their details very important to put in the actual email address that they will be emailing you from primarily you can add further additional email addresses if they have additional emails and just put in all this information anybody that is already on your contact list will automatically be whitelisted so just make sure you fill out at least their name and their email. That way you can easily identify them and note down their information. So then this will automatically make sure that you will get emails from that person or that company. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, again, um, this is design or this video I created because uh, I hear from family members, clients all the time. Hey Mike, uh, I was expecting an email from you. 
uh, or email from such and such, but I never got it. Where do I look to find it? Well, spam is one great way to look for it. You can go in there and do that search and type in the search for whoever you're looking for. And basically, you'll just want to whitelist them any number of the ways that I showed you on this video. All right, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and um, if you didn't like this video, please at least comment down below. Let me know what you didn't like about it. So then this way I can improve and make better videos for everyone. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video.